I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. But this is sad. Really, it is. Pity. Not quite that. Do you think this is funny? You won't get away with that. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Bombarda! For better or for worse, we're in. <laughs> this mine looks like a tomb. Pavelio. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I 
don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. There's something here they want. Rebellion. Incendio. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. That bridge has seen better days. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Uh. Ranlock's loyalists have all but declared war. Uh, Lumos. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Lumos.
incendio. Fringo. Lumos. Lumos. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? I've never seen a sword like this. Oh, nice stuff. Certainly cleared the room. Don't know why Gryffindors take credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight a rune symbol above the cabin door. Runrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Revenia. Incendio. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rune symbols. Revelio. Incendio. Wasn't expecting that. Rebellion. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Confringo! 
If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Runrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Runrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. <laughs> 